Okay, so I don't know where I've been living, but I didn't quite realise just how controversial the fall was until recently. So I've just seen recently so many like real reviews and stuff of the fall. People being like, I bought the stuff, so my opinion must be like really valid and all of this. Oh my god, there's a moth up there. Don't no. Can't deal, it's daytime, why is there a moth in? So you know what, I thought, why don't I give an honest review? In terms of, I bought from Zafal, I buy from Zafal, they send me stuff, I work with them. Like, in terms of, I couldn't be more involved with a brand. With brands, I just wouldn't work with them unless it was stuff I wouldn't buy personally for myself anyway. I would never show you something I hated and like completely rate it and then just not wear it at all. Like, what was the point? I think you'd be able to tell anyway that it wasn't my taste. See, I just think some of these, um, like, testings of full products and stuff like that hauls have been a bit unfair. Like, as in, by all means, go out there, do your thing, give an honest re review. But for instance, like, with one of them I watched, um, the girl who has, like, quite a similar style to me bought a dress, and on the website, it just didn't look nice anyway. Like, it looked like a granny's weird, maxi kind of dress anyway, like... I wouldn't have picked it up on the site. I'm not saying everything comes to fall is perfect because it's not. Like some of the stuff, I'm like, what the hell is that? Some of it is on point. But she like bought it anyway and then tried it on and was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe how bad this is. It's like horrible. And I'm like, but it was horrible on the website. So I don't think that was fair. They just kind of are doing it to kind of build up a reaction. Like, a, oh my God, like, I might have had a bad experience with the fall too. Um, in terms of like what you get, the products are exactly the same as the pictures. When I say that as being a customer and working with them as well, like it just is. Like, like they really have, they are really above a lot of the other websites in terms of they do use their own imagery and stuff like that. I've heard someone say that they haven't used their own imagery in the past. I personally have never seen that. YouTube is a great place for like getting an honest, real opinion. But just do further research as well. Like look on Google, look at trust forum websites. Like. I think there's a website which I'll link down below which you can like type in any online retail shop and there's like reviews on there. What I also like about the full is the fact that there are reviews from customers on each item like they're not hiding, they're not saying that they're perfect because no one is. Like high street shops in the UK I have a lot to say about in terms of quality and customer service and the full have always been alright for me. The only thing I would say is bear in mind it's an overseas company which means Shipping. Shipping will always be longer. It will take anything between a week to four weeks to come. So always bear that in mind. If you're paying a cheaper price, then it is coming from the direct source, the direct warehouse. Also to bear in mind, sometimes I never have, you might get charged custom charges. Recently I bought something from America and I got a custom charge. Bear in mind when I buy from like Southeast Asia, I don't usually. So it just depends on like the post office and whatnot, and I'm not sure how it all works. So always bear that in mind. Also, I think it's a fault that I'm a little bit confused with sizing, like I will put it out there and say that I agree with that. Um, like other people giving statements about the sizing, I think they are a little bit confused with sizing in terms of a lot of the stuff, in terms of like the dresses are a little bit shorter, trousers will come up a little bit shorter. If you're over five foot six, which is what I am, things like trousers, skirts and dresses might not be the best for you. Tops will probably be fine and stuff like that everything might come up a little bit short and they say this because they're an Asian brand they cater for Asian sizing and Asian women do tend to be a little bit more petite which I completely understand but at the same time a mass of their market is like a westernized culture and westernized women aren't generically petite and we all come in like different shapes sizes as do like Asian women as well but do you know what I mean so I'm thinking maybe they should investigate that a little bit further and maybe take into account sizing. It's the same with a lot of online brands I find. They don't cater usually for over a size 12, which I know a lot of people find offensive. If you're between like a size six and a 12, then you're good to go. Like I said, things just tend to come up a little bit shorter and always look at the sizing charts because for instance, in their jeans, like without a jean without a stretch, I'm a size large, but I will still continue to shop with them. I don't think there's any one like shop out there that is perfect. I could probably walk into Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and probably find something wrong with some of the clothes in there. They're not to my size. I don't think the stitching was done right, especially for the price that you pay in those places. And I could probably find just as many niggles and stuff like that, especially when you're ordering like designers online, it takes just as long to come. So there's probably just as many niggles I could find with those. I buy from an overseas shop unless I'm 100% sure. So I've looked at the reviews of the product. 
I know I'm gonna like it. It's a material that I know is gonna fit me or suit me. I look at the material, I look at the price. Is the price like worth what I think it looks like? I make sure I know what I'm getting because if I know what I'm getting, then I'm not gonna to wanna to return it and it's probably gonna suit me. So always be sure, and that's all I would say is a fall. Be sure and you probably won't fail. But, um, so I just think some of the reviews have been a little bit unfair. So I'm just here as a person who's a customer and somebody who works with them just to say like, they're the same as any other shop. They're just situated somewhere else. So I think they get a hard time for that. But personally, I love them. Like as a company, I'd probably give them like a seven out of 10. I think some of the clothes are crap. I think the shipping takes a long time, but that's not their fault. And I think returns can be a fuss. But love the clothing, exactly the same as the pictures and I'm really on it. So, and I've never had any like custom charges or anything like that. So it's always down to you. Don't take into account anyone else's experience. Everyone's experiences can be different. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so in my last of all haul, it was like predominantly swimwear and I do have a lot of swimwear this time, even better than the last one. Um, but I'm gonna save that until last. I'll probably start with the clothing because I've got a few clothing bits I'm really excited about as well. We're just gonna start with what I'm wearing at the moment, which is just this, um, white top here and I'm just loving this kind of top. I'm pretty sure I've something very similar in Zara, like don't hold me to that. But it's just this white top here, it's got these like off the shoulder bits there and I'm loving the ring details here. I think ring details are just so extra and they just add to make a little extra to any outfit or a plain item and just make it like a little bit glamour, a little bit chic. And I'm just absolutely loving these. I love the fact that it's in silver as well. I think it looks a little bit more classic. It's just in this kind of like poplin sort of Zara material as well. I'm absolutely loving it. White is just my summer colour, my go-to. All for basics. Sometimes you just want something a little extra and this top is definitely that. I think I got this one in the size medium and I adore it. Next piece I've also seen similar on Zara. Also on like other websites as well, like online brands. But it's just these um, trousers here and they're just in this striped sort of taupey coloured stripe with these amazing like fuchsia orange yellow floral red prints all over and you know everyone knows I'm loving colour especially that like sunset kind of hue to it I love those colours so contrasted against the stripes I think was great they're even better a paper bag bit at the front I did get these in a size small which is kind of weird because you should try some size medium I love the length of them they're the perfect summer holiday like go to you can throw these on for a night out with like a bodysuit team in the day with a bikini so many things you can do with this really good quality as well I love the feel of them they're super soft before summer even started I was babbling on about the fact I was just loving bardo tops and it had transitioned with me from last summer to this summer so by all means I just had to pick up this one and especially my favourite colour at the moment like orange is just my go-to um so it's in this orange gingham gingham is still really big at the moment as well and it's just off the shoulder I got it in a size medium it's got like this tie bow here which you all know I just love everything anything that ties up is just definitely me then it's really like light cotton as well so it's going to be a great like holiday piece it's going to be really nice for like a city summer holiday you just can't go wrong with little pieces like this that are just super inexpensive I then just got another gingham piece like don't hate me too much but this time in this red dress again I got it in the size medium and it's just this like bardo again off the shoulder dress what I really loved about it was just these cute little bow details on the shoulder I think they're super cute and it's such a super cute dress and it just has a belt there which is optional so you can tie that around the waist or you can even tie it around your neck as sort of like a little choker effect which I will probably do I just think this is going to look really nice it gets like a weaved straw basket kind of bag or something like that with a little like chalky hat so many things you can do with this it's a super cute dress you can look like a little doll on a little farm just imagine the pictures you could be taking in this and especially it's in red as well like red is such a nice colour against the tan cannot wait to wear this beautiful okay so I thought that was the last gingham item that I got but then I saw that I got this and I completely forgot which is really bad but again it's so similar in the fact that it's like a bardo off the shoulder effect dress but this time in black and white gingham so you know very different like this kind of tied up bow detail like there's a theme going on here for sure but just across the middle there which I think is a super flattering fit um for the summer like the material that it is it's a little bit different to the other two it's more of like a thick sort of material, beautiful, loving the bardo effect. And what I even love more about this one is the bardo. The sleeve is separate, which I said I do prefer in bardos. I'm gonna say this is super short. Unless you wanna wear it as a top, then if you're above like five foot six, five foot seven, this is gonna be super short on you. I got this one in the size medium as well. Okay, so can we get hallelujah? I found a pair of jeans on the fall that fit. I struggle so much with overseas websites and their jean sizing, especially in jeans with no stretch. 
But I picked these up, I got them in the size large, thought they're probably gonna be too big on the waist, but because they're meant to be a bit of a boyfriend fit, they actually fit perfectly. I'm so happy. They're just these gorgeous, like vintage looking jeans with um, this distressed bit there, there, and even better, just there on the back, which I absolutely loved and thought was like a little bit different. Love the fit of these, love the fact that they've got like a kind of more straight leg with a frayed hem. I think straight leg jeans, boyfriend fitting jeans, that kind of look are so in at the moment. It's gonna look particularly good with anything tight on top. These are good bum jeans as well, so even better. Okay, so this gorgeous little number is me all over. It's just this red top here with a tie up, of course. This time not gingham, but stripes instead. I'm loving pinstripes as well. This for me is gonna be the perfect cover up top. Um, I've got a red bikini that I got from Zafal in my last haul, which I will link down below. And it's gonna look so cute underneath this. And yeah, it's just one of those things. It's so easy to just put on and off. It's in a really thin material, so it's not gonna keep you too hot. It's gonna look really nice against like denim shorts, that kind of vibe, and I just absolutely love it. I got this one actually in a size small, and even better now with Zafal with like, majority of their stuff they put in the labels um like washing advice and what materials it is like this one is 35 percent cotton 65 percent polyester amazing okay out of this whole haul this is the only thing that i'm super disappointed with and that is this dress here um it's just this sort of cut out black like mini dress it doesn't even look like a dress like it looks like a top when i even just hold it up there and it basically fits like a top like if you can see at the back there it's just super short and it's not even the fact that if it had gone up a size it would have been way too big on the waist and it wouldn't have fit properly it's just super short like they definitely need more material down there like i don't know whose butt that is going to cover well, not mine anyway and mine isn't even particularly that big and i've got a very similar dress like this from o Polly, which i will link down below as well and it fits like a dream and you can tell the quality difference like i'm not gonna lie okay guys now for the exciting bit the bikinis look at all these like oh my god look at this color this next bikini is going to be a hit and miss kind of bikini i don't know if this is the kind of bikini you can only wear if you've got like itty bitty titties but i don't have huge boobs but at the same time i don't know if they're gonna put it in this bikini so it's just this like triangle bikini here with like this sort of rouge detail there and you can like pull the little bus fit in to as little or as much as you want it's just got the little itty bitty pants to it there i got this in the size medium isn't this cute bronze orange color and i just love orange at the moment especially this color like this color against the tan is just dreamy you literally look like melting bronze like just fit perfectly that is in the bottoms and the top fits how i know it should fit but give me your opinions on it because i'm not too sure if this top is just a little bit too much for me even though i will still keep the pants Fitting in with my sunset orange vibes i just picked up this little mustard number again the size of medium and it's just this gorge red um swimsuit which i'm digging i'm feeling this swimsuit like all over me but this is perfect it's the perfect for our swimsuit it's super comfortable if you don't like to wear bikinis and this is the swimsuit for you it's flattering on anybody it's a universal fit they had this in so many colors as well but i just absolutely loved it in the yellow it's kind of got a low back there too um by the way all the swimwear comes with um the little hygiene labels as well make sure you don't get rid of that if you want to send anything back Loving the little bow detail, I think it's super flattering for all bust shapes as well. So, absolutely love this. It's gonna look glam against a tan and probably with just like a little gold necklace to kind of accessorize things a little bit more because I'm that extra, I'm that extra person around the pool. Gorge, gorge fit. Love everything about this, can't fault it. In a bit of a brighter yellow, I just then got this little two piece, which are these amazing high rise pants, very vintage. And then this like bandeau top. It's so simplistic, so cute, but does all kinds of things to like make me like, yes, I have to wear you. If anything, the top is a little bit big on it. I got it in the medium, like with everything else. So the top is slightly too big. So if you've got a smaller bust, then that is something to consider. I think it's only being held up by my boobs. So I absolutely love this. I love like the, um, again, the rib detail on it. I think it just makes the bikini look more expensive than it is super good quality like no one can fault the full's bikini range and their swimmer range it's just on point it just is if you want cheap amazing great instagramable bikinis then you need to go to the full kind of similar to the mustard yellow swimsuit i showed you i just picked up this bikini but in black and it's just got the bra there with like the knot details there and like the knot details very similar to how the swimsuit was um and it's again in this ribbed texture 
and then it just comes with the pants there which are thong pants if you're feeling a little bit daring this summer which i think i kind of am then this is definitely going to be a bikini for you i absolutely love how it looks like i think it's so glamorous a proper thong bikini i think black just looks a little bit more classy if you can be classy in a thong bikini i've got it in a size medium i just think it's so flattering okay so this next bikini i'm super excited about it's just this sort of crinkle texture gray bikini there i'm loving this crinkle texture especially in like tops like i've seen a few bars over tops in this crinkle texture but i saw it in a bikini and i was like yes love that i did actually get this in a size small because i didn't I think I had a medium at the time and it actually fits all right. Like, I probably could have done with the medium in the pants, but we'll squeeze, girl, we'll squeeze. And then if you watch my last haul, I think I mentioned earlier, actually, I got a red bikini and I just picked the same one up in the pink color because I'm just loving pink and red, pink and red together as well. Amazing. Just the pants there, which is stretchy pants and it's just a plain triangle bikini. I don't think you could ever have enough like staple bikinis. That bikini for when you want to go to a water park, when you've got a day out somewhere going to waterfalls and you want it to stay on, you want a simple bikini that's like maybe not too over accessorized or too much. This is perfect for that. Like absolutely loving this, love the color of it. It's more like a nudie pink than like a pasty barbie pink, you know what I mean? So absolutely gorgeous. The quality of these is amazing. It does have padding in it, but it gives you the option to take the padding out, which is even better. Again, in size medium, gorge. And last but not least, these retro glasses. These are my vibe. Let me try these on. I've been wearing these glasses to death and I've been loving them. I just feel all Audrey Hepburn ish. But I feel like I should have one of those like silk scarf turned in my hair. These are perfect, they're my perfect glasses. Um, I love the fact that they're in black, they're quite shiny black, they're super classic vintage looking glasses and they were like five pounds, something like that. Like, I've seen very similar ones of these in Topshop and on ASOS for 15, so a fraction of the price. So there we have it, my honest the full review. You all know like the shops I do love because I, I don't really put things on here that I don't like, like that's just not my channel, but I do love the full. If you do have any more questions from me, then be sure to um, put them all down below. In terms of the full and answering in terms of answering the question in the title, is the fall a scam? No, like, I don't know how it can be a scam when they put the when they send you the exact stuff that is like pictured on the website. It tells you the materials on the website. They tell you the material on the stuff. They give you the option to refund and return, even if it is long. They tell you the shipping is going to be long. You know what you're going to get. You know what to expect with it, and that's what I like. Not everything is perfect, but you know what you're going to get, which I don't think a lot of places that are scam websites do. So I don't know how it can be called a scam when, yeah. So yeah, let me know what your favorite piece was or if you've been shopping on Sephora recently, you've seen anything that I would like. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and 21 Buttons account. I absolutely do love Sephora and I will be seeing you all very soon in my next video. I hope you'll like this one. Take care, guys.